Okay, this is like a sexy, how to be sexy stripper tutorial. This is morning practice. She's so tall. <laughs> I tell you what we need to do. Bro, come on, bro. I just come from one hippie bubble to another. Look what I found. Hi. Everybody, the Sharp Show. This is the Pablo Gascon Show. The last time you saw him was in Christmas time. Yeah, we we're both we running here, away. We are here in Mexico. Finally, we are co-creating this beautiful cock event. Creation. An amazing cock creation. This is fantastic. I love your ashram. I love your holy space. Tell me, how can I serve? How can I help? Make the Altar. Altar st it's time to create the altered state. Okay, this is it. Remember altar. last time I was here and I tried to create something nice and it was a shambles. Let's go! It's like the same level of the computer game, but a different level. Look, I got this dish and this dish. I got two items. We're about to discover technology. Oh, shit! The hippies, the, the robots are making the water come out of the machine. <laughs> So this is what happens if you don't take garlic tablets. I have been stung to fuck by mosquitoes and I've been using this one trick since 1999. The other time I've been bitten like this was when I was in Borderland in Sweden. And you don't expect to be stung by mosquitoes in Sweden, do you? No, I mean, I've even got it on my face, but, uh, I learned about garlic tablets. So if I get Holland and Barrett's odorless garlic tablets and have that two weeks before a trip where I know there's going to be mosquitoes, then I never get bitten. Like, I never get bitten. The one time I did get bitten was in Borderland. I was stung to fuck. It's so bad. Because, you know, you go to Sweden, you don't expect to be bitten by mosquitoes do you no no here i really didn't think i was going to get bitten i haven't been bitten by mosquitoes for for you know since borderland 2016 so uh i got my garlic tablets up there so i'm gonna start eating them by the time it's in my body i do it two weeks before then i won't get better anymore a bit late i'll stop being tasty to mosquitoes in about three weeks kind of when i leave what do you... <laughs> Every day it gets worse, No, no, bro. no, no, people are tired of seeing that. <laughs> Every day it gets worse. It's in... I mean, it's insane. Did you see my story this morning? No, what did it say? Louis was singing the You're guitar singing. in French. Petty poop. Fuck. Look at me, I'm fucked up. Oh, God. The I'm Guru's infected. arms are fully falling off. Okay, so we're in the Beyond Nudity Empire, bro. First time I saw you was on the television in Sweden, the hitchhiking gigolo, right? Correct. Now look who you are, you're a divine father. Mm, yeah, and I think that's the most beautiful and transforming uh, energy I've experienced. It took me away to become a TNT Dark Lord. TNT Dark Lord? What's your TNT name? You don't have one. I never went the path to really? read. I, I, people thought I was a tnt -er. So that was a sign. I'm a tnt -er. I saw my viral video that reached 2 million people when I was a unicorn. I love, TNT. I love TNT. I love the relaxness in it. 
Uh, but it's so much. Since he's a sex cult, okay. by the way. Anyway. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> be aware that there will be a more pushing techniques, dark yeah. masculine techniques, and I didn't need some more heart-centered techniques, and mm. that's why I initiated love making with Yoni to create Nala, so I could land in my oh. heart. So this is my tantra teacher. Nala is my tantra yeah, teacher. Yeah, she is a full. Yeah, she's fully orgasmic. Like she's okay. more um, embodied than us. Oh. Like the way she's feeling pleasure, the way she's like communicating. Everything is so. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I need to become more liberal because she's more liberal than me. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm quite sensitive. She has no choice. No, she's fully embodied. Like, oh, wow. so beautiful. You did it, bro. The legacy project is done. Oh, yes. Oh. And I bless you in the future seven years from the, the time. Seven comes, years' time. When the woman's womb is opening, pulsating, longing for your beautiful cock to enter her. Yes. And are receiving the sacred sperm of a triplets. A triplet? That's what you said. <laughs> triplets, right? I don't know why. You're the kind of time that no, you deserve it, brother. You deserve to have kids. Like, you, your heart is there. And be brave and be 95% consensual. <laughs> Okay, we're about to shoot another video in Mazunte. The last one we shot got a quarter of a million views. It was insane. And it came to me in a sex magic ritual, obviously. And uh, we shot it. And it was a hit. So we're going to try and recreate that success again. Let's hope it works, yeah? Let's get more people dancing, connecting, fully tangibly, okay? Okay, got the music yet? Yeah? What no. did you say about my third eye? <laughs> I just said, I really love it, how you can shoot the energy through your third eye. I used to be a unicorn, so I could penetrate her heart with my third eye! <laughs> We got so many content creators living next to each other. You live here, and you live here. I mean, and I live here. This is fantastic. Okay, we're on a mission to create insane abundance. The mission is to help billions and make billions, and you're gonna make that happen, right? I mean, the logo is brilliant. Okay, the shaft show is gonna happen here. Oh, so soon, mi amor, mi amor. Okay, so we're basically doing an OnlyFans mastermind tomorrow with this one. But I got so I got a question for you. What is a dick pic 101? Like, how do I send a good dick pic on OnlyFans? Send it a good dick pic. Because I just saw yours. I was blown away <laughs> by his dick pic. Like it's incredible. Gracias. It's it's so good, bro. <laughs> okay. what, what's the hack? Just about the right angle. About the right getting, angle. Getting that camera to be facing what you want it to face, you know. Your camera's up here and your team's down there. So Angles, bad get, angle. You know, just get that kind of, get that. <laughs> <laughs> More streamlined. More stream you the, said something good about your legs. You haven't been doing your legs. <laughs> so I've reduced... <laughs> this is fucking genius. <laughs> just, uh, it wasn't a method, but just that of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been working out your legs. I haven't been working out my legs. And his legs are usually massive. So the reduction in phi, <laughs> the dick to phi ratio, <laughs> phi ratio. You see, it, it has a better balance. I mean, because before with the chunky thighs, you just got this like thing just in the middle of these magnificent slabs of muscle. You know, it's kind of like doesn't doesn't match. So if you want to see a well done dick pic. Message me on OnlyFans in about a week when I master the ultimate dick pic. Watch your space. Watch it on OnlyFans, though, the shaft show. So I'm hanging out with uh, a former professional soccer player who uh, is my OnlyFans coach. But also a stripper. <laughs> Babes, stand up. <laughs> Full flower. <laughs> 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 
Shibari on the streets for the whole family. There's this mystical town here on the beach with all these sacred structures here. There is some mound leading up to the sacrificial space. Oh my god, there's a coconut temple here. An ancient. They don't know how they got these bricks here, but somehow I think they use the sound technology. And there's a bridge all the way over here. Wow. Wow, very powerful. Oh my God. Very powerful space, very powerful. And of course, the last man of the village is right here. Wow, that's intense, bro. Wahiguru, Wahiguru. Wahiguru. My turn, my turn. My okay. Turn. Every day they have a little parade mm. yeah, of all of the fancy police people with their guns. I don't fully really know why, but it's a lovely parade. <laughs> like a carnival, right? <laughs> this is a full on cat buffet. This little one seems to be feeding the ones the same size as it. <laughs> Are you actually the mother? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't think that's a mother. <laughs> I think it's one of the kids. <laughs> you just... What was going on? It, it was a mother. I think it was a mother. What's, is that the mother? Like it's lying down like the other ones. <laughs> Pull some money. They're, they're trying to eat this, this one's milk. <laughs> Look who I found. Cindy Crawford from <laughs> San Marcos and little Leo. <laughs> is life going really great for you guys or is it just a bit of a mess? <laughs> so, um, in Tiblitum, is in it? I'm bored as fuck. There is no sexual energy here at all, as in like, I think my hymen's grown back. And I'm just asking these ones, like, are you feeling the same? Is there, is there any sexual energy here? No, much. No, nope. no. But, what, what do you mean by this? Like, I don't, I personally don't feel anything. I don't fancy anyone. I also don't fancy anyone apart from you and you. No comment from that one. <laughs> <laughs> extra cup, extra cup. Thanks, babes. So yeah, is it, you guys have confirmed she's so attractive. Look at her, Cindy Crawford from the lake. <laughs> No sexual energy. I'm actually with one of my exes and we used to have incredible, incredible sex and um, don't even want to have sex there either. Okay, um, this is fully illegal. <laughs> so many women are having periods. Yours is all over your face, but you are lo you're, you look like a Taluminati. This is exactly the look I'm looking for, for all of my new Shaktis. It's the last Sunday and the last ecstatic dance. My workshop at a camp got cancelled, so there's no reason for me to stay here. I'm just bored as fuck every day. But it's okay being bored here with nothing to do. This is what happens after Pablo Gascon's retreat. <laughs> what did you do to these people? <laughs> <laughs> I've been trapped in my house for five days. They've been trapped together for five days. Also known as a retreat, huh? Oh, this is great. 
The wave's coming, the wave's coming. Shit, there it is! <laughs> Full wave! Hair flick! <laughs> I mean, look at these guys, they're fucking loving it! Oh, shit! <laughs> yes! Every day at the ashram! Full guru style! Offa, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Powerful stuff. Okay, do, do the power move, power move, power move. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> there it is. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're losing her. No, no, she's still here. <laughs> yes. Oh, do that thing with the legs on the floor. Yeah, your Oh my god, the floor works amazing. These guys! <laughs> oh! Good job, good job. Well done. End move. How do you do it? Opa, let's go. And now show Matrix style. <laughs> so. Uh, Wait, what? Bam! <laughs> Matrix style. Yeah! <laughs> okay, you said something that was enlightening for both of us entrepreneurs, tantrapreneurs here. What did you say? I said that we are energetic beings who have chosen this path of the work that is an extension of our soul. And as energetic beings who have chosen that path, if we're not prioritizing our energy first, our business naturally suffers. Mm. And that has nothing to do with productivity. It has everything to do with honoring ourselves, our own unique energy, and allowing ourselves the grace that we would you know, tell others to have with themselves that we often don't give to ourselves because of our own internalized conditioning. And it causes unconscious suffering at the end of the day that effect, does affect our business. And then we blame it on things like productivity or I haven't done this, I haven't done that, I haven't produced enough content, I haven't been on social media. But those are just our brain trying to make sense of why we're out of alignment. And our brain can never actually comprehend why we're out of alignment. That's an inside energetic job. Wow. We like it, we like it. <laughs> Welcome to my little home in Zipolite. I've been driving around on this not tantric at all beast. Ta never get a quad, not sexy. Um, Pablo Gas, the famous Pablo Gascon lives there. I've been living in his room up there, but I'm living here now. And all I've done basically since being in Zipolite is got a lot thicker because I just eat all the time. Go to the gym. So I basically have a little routine. I wake up and I have my coffee share and meditation. So this is how I build my little communities. Coffee share and meditations in the morning. So bro, what's real for you right now? Now I'm very peace. Oh, very nice. <laughs> what's real for you, babes? Love you. Oh, and what's real for you? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I go to the gym with Raw Dog at Move Gym down in uh, in town. So my days are basically, uh, I don't do a lot, apart from hanging out with this guy up there <laughs> in our gym. I mean, it's like men's work. We just sit around pushing weights and talking about Shakti's. Amen. Amen. I do nothing. That's it, that's all I do. I literally do, I'm bored as fuck. I've been bored as fuck here for a long time. Um, like a long time. I've been here for 19 days. Like I'm bored. I'm bored. Uh, but the plus side is, I've been making content with that one. Um, babes, we still got energy orgasm to do, lingam massage. We've got a whole lot of stuff, babes, a whole lot of stuff. Paid content. We haven't done the paid content yet. So, uh, if you want to see more of our stuff, check out my OnlyFans and her OnlyFans. I can't give you the link on YouTube, but you can find me on um, Instagram and you could, you know, get me now. DM me, DM me. So this is my little uh, summary video of 
Zipolite. So I came to Mexico in two at the start of the year. I was meant to be here and not San Marcos because uh, the world closed down. I couldn't stay in Finland. I would never have left Finland. I would never have left Europe. I said to my girlfriend at the time, coming back to these places is like going backwards. And it is. I've been surrounded by spiritual fuckers telling me how to live my life. Here's an interesting fact. If you surround yourself with millionaires, you'll be the next millionaire. It's true. Uh, but if you surround yourself with broke people, you'll be the next broke person. So I'm fucking broke. I haven't worked for four months. Like, it's really bad. Uh, so this thing called OnlyFans came into my life and the Shaft Show has generated in one month $600. <laughs> It's not a lot. It's not a lot. But when you're when you're like literally saving every, you've got no money coming. Nothing's coming in. I got no cash. Uh, basically, everyone's too poor to pay for yoni massages. Everyone's too poor uh, to come to the shaft show. Like it's, I just can't. I just can't work here. <laughs> For making three to ten thousand English pounds a month in Europe to zero and spending all of the money I earn on um, renovating my house, my tax return and um, Bitcoin investments. Yeah, it's um, tricky, tricky. So, uh, yeah, coming to these bubbles, it's like going backwards. But here's an interesting thing. Here's a very interesting thing. Everyone I've been hanging around with has been fucking amazing. Like little Miss Sasha over there, OnlyFans. Uh, she, um, she's an OnlyFans guru. She told me how to understand that interface. One person I met. Um, Pablo Gascon. He's like running the best ecstatic dances here. Along with Rita over there, who you saw in my vlog, uh, who's running all the big other ecstatic dances and all the juicy play party stuff. I'm too contracted and frigid to hang out with my old friends because um, I'm just locked in my room just making content and my thumb fucking hurts because I've got RSI because I'm editing on this device all the time. I met Finn. Uh, he's a Marvel character. <laughs> I met him in 2012 when I was a unicorn in Tulum when I got arrested one time. I met him when I was dancing on top of a pyramid and I, and I, and I was like, who's that handsome man? And uh, I developed a bit of a man crush and I bumped into him again and we're having the big conversations around spirituality, kids and uh, what do you do during COVID time. It was amazing. And where can we live our lives in freedom? He, he's like, he's, I met him six years ago. He's still amazing. But what I liked about him was, he's rich and famous, but he's a normal guy. A lot of spiritual people are fucking triggered by rich and famous people. And there's me who, you know, I like money and I like having a lot of awareness on the internet and I've got no one to play with. Sasha's like the only person who gets it because she's a content creator. I'm a content creator. I hang around with fucking hippies. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's really challenging to be here. Um, like it only takes one comment to bring me down. I have had a little fucker tell me, you need to be humble, you do. And that really like got me and kept me up at night. And it took one comment just to like trigger me that much because a lot of people are conditioned by a religious belief, which is being um, humble. Uh, which is yet the, like the Jantalagen in Sweden, where you can't be above anyone else. It's another form of social conditioning. It's another form of shame. Shoromnaini uh, is what my Bengali Muslim mum would say if you were too big. Spiritual people would say you need to be humble if you're too big. So all of the, and the Jantalagen doesn't let you shine. Uh, so basically all these social constructs don't let you be yourself. And that's the ultimate game of the the whole simulation we're in. Um, my friend Raw Dog, who I know from um, England, he is incredible. He came into my life and he taught me how to, like the word safety for him isn't even a thing. He can make anyone feel safe, but he doesn't care about that. He's just this beast of a man, beautiful, hot, and he looks like a walking piece of art. He's a massage therapist and many other things, um, but he's, he's great. 
The man don't give a fuck. He's like a savage beast and uh yeah, it's like I've been brainwashed into making everyone I have these expectations that women need to make me feel safe, which is an expectation. He doesn't have that expectation at all. He knows he could take care of himself because he could, you know, like he does martial arts and he's like massive. And he just somehow doesn't need to have that programming in his head. And I'm so cautious around women to make them feel safe. It's fucked me up. Like, really fucked me up. Um, and there's another girl who I met here as well. I met loads of high-level people. Um, which is... She she worked at Google and she um, has left Google and is actually a terrorist in her country of um, Belarus because it's a dictatorship and she went on a protest so she can't go back home. And I found it fascinating to meet someone like I want to meet. I want to meet more people who are in the corporate world but also does spirituality. Um, I also met another girl who's British and she's hilarious. There's not a lot of people, I don't have a lot of friends here. Um, and she was talking about the consent culture. Now, consent is sexy, boundaries is sexy. Um, and she also was mentioning about, um, like, women want to be approached. They want to be ravaged in bed, but they also want to feel safe. So it's like... I'm I'm just doing the safe stuff. Raw Dog is doing the savage stuff. So I'm conflicted because I hear all I've ever heard is uh, women just get raped. That's it. Bottom line: women have PTSD. Uh, they need to feel safe. They need tra transparency and they need boundaries. Yes, they they need all of that. But then a man like myself, I have I don't know how to seduce someone. Seduction doesn't exist if you're making everyone feel safe all the time. Hi, is it okay to uh, touch your arm? Is it okay to um, give you a shoulder massage? Is it okay to... Uh, so you have to ask for every single thing. Women crave mystery. Uh, the most successful people who get most amount of women love sex intimacy. And these guys don't even want that much uh, relationships, whereas I do are the ones who don't even mention any of this stuff. So I'm just observing all this stuff. And uh, I see a lot of guys who don't make women feel safe, uh, just getting loads of women. And it's like, hmm, they're doing it and they, they don't care. They literally don't care. And women are sleeping with them. I d like my mind boggles. So I, it's confusing. There's um, something I could, well, this is why I've been hanging around with uh, Raw Dog. He's been a fascinating character to see someone who is not from my bubbles at all. He's just a guy. He's just a normal guy. And he makes women feel safe without having to think about it. So, um, so yeah, I've been given the highest level people of the people I want to meet in my life. Famous Marvel actor, Google terrorist, a guy who doesn't give a fuck, uh, an online OnlyFans guru. And I'm in Zipolito by myself most of the time. So randomly through my coffee sharing meditations uh, and me being me, I'm attracting these people. I spent a week making content. It's all on my inst uh, on my on OnlyFans now. Um, check it out. Um, you have to DM me to get it. I'm off to Tulum. I feel Tulum's going to be more my vibe. Um, Shikari is going to be there. I've already got a house to move in there. I'm going to be doing the Shaft show at Hedone, which is a um, a sex positive event. Uh, I'm also working at a festival, Soulfulness Festival or something. So I've got two festivals to work at, uh, a tantric house I'm living in for so it's actually cheaper than here and San Marcos, which is insane because Tulum is going to be super expensive. And, um, and yeah, I, I feel, and there's, there's people doing my line of work over there. So I'm looking forward to meeting people who are creating content and I'm just having a nice time because I'm, 
I'm fucking broke, hang around with fucking broke hippies. You will become the people you surround yourself with. Um, I've been surrounding myself with amazing people, so I've, you know, I feel like I've levelled up a little bit. Um, you know, I've, I've done one month's worth of content already, and it's all stacked up and ready to go um, on my OnlyFans, and I feel really proud about that. I've done an ass massage video, breast massage video, two ass massages videos, two um, uh, breast massage videos. I've done a what happens in the only massage video, which I might put on YouTube because I'm allowed. Um, I did a tantric massage video, which was beautiful, like next level stuff, because no one really knows what happens in tantric massage. And I did four podcasts with Naked Podcasts with Sasha, and, uh, and then I got um, two more videos to shoot. It's non-stop. I got two hours before my flight. <laughs> okay, check out all the links below. Make sure you smash up that like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the little ding ling ding um, because I love making these vlogs for all of you. And thank you, I love you and I set you free. And check out the online course, The School of Self Love. It has the most amount of tools to generate more self love in yourself. You need that stuff before you could even check out the OnlyFans stuff or check out the OnlyFans stuff because I know what you guys are like. Okay, I love you.